science, religion, at war for thousands of years. John Ray has been called the father of English natural history. He made extensive collections and catalogues of English flora in particular. Along with Boyle, he was one of the founding members of the Royal Society. He was the greatest authority of his day in both botany and zoology. Ray suggested that, instead of devoting themselves to games and dissipations, they would gain more satisfaction from the contemplation of the wisdom and goodness of God, as demonstrated in the exquisite works of nature. In 1670, Ray published a catalogue of plants of the British Isles. It contained a long section on the medicinal use of plants, which denounced astrology, alchemy, and witchcraft, and was ruthless in its demands for evidence. Ray published a book on birds in 1676 which laid the foundations of scientific ornithology. Ray's generalized catalogue of plants laid the groundwork for systematic classification, which was to be brought into modern form by Linnaeus. Ray's insights were ahead of his time in other areas as well. As Asimov states, he declared fossils were the petrified remains of extinct creatures. This was not accepted by biologists generally until a century later. Ray was also a strong Christian and creationist, writing a number of books on natural theology, chief of which was the wisdom of God manifested in the works of the creation. God's works of creation, he said, were the works created by God at first, and by Him conserved to this day in the same state and condition in which they were first made. Much of his efforts were directed toward opposing the deistic evolutionists of his day, 